But listen, let me tell you something, you two family. You do not have to be a Gordon Ramsay to pants or some bomb scallops. Let me show you how easy it is to cook scallops the hood way. Stay tuned. What is popping my YouTube fam? Alayam. Listen, y'all. Today, um, I'm doing the quickest video ever. Um, real quick, real easy, real simple, real straight to the point, y'all. So, we have some scallops right here. Um, a lot of you know, a lot of you probably don't. What I am doing with these scallops, I am trying to pat them as dry as I can. And what I'm going to show you guys is how to pan sear scallops. How to pan sear scallops. The, uh, I guess, how can I put it? We're going to pan sear these the easiest way. But they are going to taste like five-star scallops, y'all. We're going to cook them just as though you are working in Hell's Kitchen at Gordon Ramsay's restaurant. I'm just playing. We're probably not even going to do all that. But, okay, so, you want to wash your scallops first, y'all. Then you want to pat them dry. Like I'm showing y'all, pat those dry. I got them laying on a paper towel, and I'm patting that top dry. So, these are nice and nice and dry just as dry as they go get okay so we are going to season these scallops with nothing but kosher salt and coarse black pepper as you guys all know I like to mix my salt and pepper together in a jar it makes it easier Okay, so let's just go ahead and season these. A lot of people don't like to um, put black pepper on their uh, scallops while searing. Afraid that the um, black pepper is just going to burn greatly. But today, here on Yaya's Catering, Chef Tish is going to add pepper and salt so I'm just trying to flip these over y'all you want to make sure you season both sides both sides look at me both sides okay there we go there we go there we go booyah oh there go one missing y'all wasn't gonna tell me y'all wasn't gonna tell me that one wasn't getting no love shame on y'all Go down there get that okay so you guys what you want to do you want to start with a screaming hot skillet like screaming hot let me see if I can move y'all up without dropping y'all there you go look at all my ingredients over there y'all because look at because I'm making hibachi. We are actually having um, hibachi tonight. And I already have a video on how I do my hibachi. So I'm not going to bore you guys with that. But I did want to come on and show you guys how to pan sear um, scallops. Um, at least like how to pan sear them my way. You know, because a lot of people is um, are intimidated when it comes to scallops um it's like easy peasy cooking itself is easy peasy pumpkin pie easy peasy okay nothing to it but to do it so you definitely want to make sure that your pan is screaming hot we have our scallops over here ready to sear listen y'all like one to two minutes on each side so and I'll show you guys and then you know every time somebody um, like all the videos I've seen or you know just watching somebody uh, pan sear scallops it's always like so extra it's like oh get your stem of thyme and uh, dip it in the butter and 
fresh thyme in the pan and ah, 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 and all that stuff. Listen, we gonna make it do what it do tonight. If you ain't got no fresh herbs, it's nothing wrong with fresh herbs. Uh, you, it's, it's, listen, fresh herbs is lit. If you don't have fresh herbs, don't panic. Like, it's so many, you can use a, a dry, nobody said you couldn't use a dry seasoning. It doesn't have to be fresh, okay? So, let me make sure our pan, I want that pan like screaming. I want that pan screaming at me. So I just turned my fire up, you guys see, on high. Okay, um, this would be great in a cast iron skillet. It would be spectacular. Um, however, when pan searing scallops, non-stick pans are your friend so we are going with a non-stick pan tonight we are still going to get a beautiful sear on our scallops however so um piggyback into what i said earlier if you don't have fresh thyme or fresh rosemary ah throw the stem in with the oil the butter oh my god use some dry seasoning get you an italian blend look at that italian seasoning straight from the dollar store for a dollar and guess what our freaking scallops is about to be lit period and that's and that's on period and that's crazy so in your italian season blend you have dry thyme oregano margarine basil rosemary and sage all those is still go merry whether it be cheap whether it be expensive it it don't really matter that's what i be saying about cooking y'all it don't really matter about how much you pay for it it's really how you prepare it you know what i'm saying so you could put these scallops up against somebody who is using fresh this and fresh that my joints still go be front line is on it's how you cook it you know what i'm saying it's the love you put into it it's how you cook it so enough of me boring y'all with that now our pan is hot it's hot it's hot like fire baby so we gonna go in with some olive oil light tasting olive oil okay I'm trying to like cut back on like oils, fats, and all that stuff, y'all. So I'm probably gonna be using some wax stuff. Um, probably sometimes you're gonna see some wax things in the making. So let's add the oil, right? Okay, we go add the oil. If you don't have olive olive oil, don't panic. It's not that serious. Just use some butter. If you don't have butter, use margarine. Like I said, it's a way that you season your food, and it is a way that you, um, it's the way you season it, and it's the way you prepare it. So, we got our oil in there. We want this oil to almost be like, oh, snaps, I'm about to burn. And it's not about to burn. Um, so, let me see. Let's see. Let's test it out. So, grab a scallop. Let's grab a scallop. So, y'all, with a scallop, these are beautiful scallops, by the way. Like, Sam's Club just got the best ever. So, this, the side that, let me see if I could grab a better one for y'all so y'all can see. Okay, so the larger side is the side you want to sear first the larger side so see how this side is kind of like short I don't even know if y'all can really tell but this side is kind of short this side is kind of large you always want to put the large side down first and I'm going to lay that down just like that okay large side down y'all Liar side down. Okay. Liar side down. And the key is you don't want to 
Um, what am I trying to say? You don't want to. What? I just forgot my train of thought, y'all. What was I? Oh, you don't. When you put them in a the pan, don't bother them. Just let them. Just let them be. Just let them be. Your food is going to talk to you, okay? Your food talks to you. It's going to let you know when it's ready to be flipped. So, let's not crowd the pan. We're going to put that many in there just like that, girl. And we're going to let that go. Like I said, for about one to two minutes. See if I can lift that up. There we go. We're going to let this go for about one to two minutes until these scallops have a beautiful crust at the bottom. That doesn't take long. Don't be intimidated, man. Just don't be intimidated. You know, because I don't know, like when it comes to scallops, like people be trying to make it seem so fancy, like so super fancy and oh scallops ah don't overcook them oh my god oh they're gonna taste like rubber just relax cook have fun that's what it's all about cooking is fun y'all cooking is fun it's nothing it's, it's nothing to it but to do it it's not rocket science cooking is fun so these are staring off beautifully and they these scallops listen let me tell you something too like when it comes to seafood this is just like my opinion now i shop at various grocery stores everything i mean i shop at everywhere from the local market to the high-end market to the high-end meat market to the low-end meat market I shop at various grocery stores. You know, you just got to know your meat. You got to know quality. You got to know prices. You got to know all of that. No good meat. But when it comes to seafood, it does pay to spend the extra penny. You know what I'm saying? Because when you spend that extra penny on your seafood, like I said, you don't need to buy all that fancy, fancy thyme, fancy rosemary. You can just go right to that Dollar Tree, get you some um nice Italian seasoning, okay? Because it's all the same. When it comes to certain things with food, some things is all the same. And you're just paying for the name brand. Because low-key, you guys, I have found things at the Dollar Tree that I like better than my wholesale place I shop at. You know what I'm saying? So it's just all about checking it out and doing your research. So you guys, these are looking good. I'm going to get my fish spatula and let's see. See, and I turned my fire down, y'all. That's not what you want. It's not time to... See that? It has a little sear on it, but it's not what I want. So let's um, turn the fire back up. Because low-key, I turned the fire down. Because I ain't what the... I, ain't what, I thought it was going to splash all up on my camera. So, turn the fire back up. We're going to leave these in here to cook. See, now... Can y'all hear it? Now it's doing what it's supposed to do. I shouldn't have never turned the fire down. I'm wilding right now because I'm talking too much. I'm doing too many things at once. But these are cooking swell. So what I'm going to do, you guys, is shut up. And I'm going to let these sear off. And I will be back in like one minute. Okay, my YouTube fam, so it's literally been like a minute. So now, I can just tell, I can just tell by the nice brown darkness, it is time to flip our scallops. So, see that? Be careful, you guys. See there? Nice, nice seared. Nice and seared. 
nice and seared. Nice and seared. You know what I mean? So, at this point, we are just like almost done. So, let's add in some butter. My favorite plant-based butter. We gotta add in some butter to that pan. And we are going to add our a nice little affordable herbs. Okay? We add in our herbs. Okay, let me turn this. These are looking great. These are like done, y'all, basically. So, look at that. See how we got that, that butter nice and melty? So now, make sure those herbs are nice and... So now, let's base. Let's base. That's the base. It's nothing to it. Basing is nothing but tip your pan and base. Stop playing. Tip your pan and just base. Tip, base, tip, tip, base. Easy peasy. Base, 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 base. Base, base. See what I mean? Easy. What you talking about? Easy. These, turn your fire off. These scallops are done. Done, done, done. These scallops are done. I'm going to show you guys the finished result. I'll put it on the plate for y'all so y'all can see the finished result. I'll be right back. All right, my YouTube fam, here is the finished product. These are pan seared scallops. Easy peasy. Don't overthink it. It is easy, it is simple, it is delicious. As always, I thank you guys so much for watching. Everybody stay safe and stay blessed.